Hello everybody, it's Sunday evening, October 13th. This will be the announcement for week nine for Con Law, Little Science 3753 for the fall 2024 term. All right, everybody, it's Sunday. Many of you will be seeing this Monday the 14th. The 14th and 15th, Monday and Tuesday, we are doing a discussion on the abortion issue. We took a quiz on some abortion-related material last week. That material was on the syllabus last week. We'll be doing a discussion Monday and Tuesday. It'll be today and tomorrow for those of you who are looking at this on Monday the 14th. Uh, we gave you a couple of links to look at and raised a couple of questions to be taken up in that discussion. So that will be our fourth discussion um, Monday and Tuesday the 14th and 15th. Now everybody once we finish this one, we'll have three more quizzes and three more discussions to get in. We'll take a little hiatus. We'll have the uh, the fifth discussion toward the end of the month. I think that that would be the week of the 28th. I think that is whenever we will do our, uh, our fifth discussion. So be watching for an email uh, from me on that, but it may be a week or so before I get that out. Um, what we have on the syllabus for this week and next week, everybody, lectures 15, 16, 17, and 18, is some material that I'm sure will be important to those of you who are in criminal justice or criminal justice majors, which I know so many of you who are taking this course. We have due process and the rights of the accused this week, and then next week, Fourth Amendment related issues pertaining to search and seizure. Okay, uh, very briefly, um, going over what we have in uh, lectures 15 and 16. In 15, we, we throw out such concepts as habeas corpus, what constitutes entrapment. We have a fair amount of material about the jury system, the institution of the grand jury. There have been a number of Supreme Court precedents involving discrimination in jury selection, which we will look at. Then there are such issues as what will be a violation of the constitutional right to a speedy trial, the right to uh, to confront witnesses against you, um, the issue of double jeopardy, the idea that you may not be tried and retried over and over until a conviction is obtained uh, in the absence of new incriminating evidence. But there's a there's an issue of what constitutes being put in jeopardy. At what point do you are you put in jeopardy? We have a discussion of that in the class notes. Now in 16, we, we discussed the right against self-incrimination, which is related to the controversial Miranda decision that uh, people in law enforcement, of course, will be familiar with. We talk about the case of Gideon versus Wainwright, the right for an indigent defendant to have an appoint, uh, attorney appointed for that individual. Gideon was an indigent defendant who researched his own legal brief in the prison library and a book and movie eventually were made of that. Gideon v. Wainwright, 1963. Then there is Miranda versus Arizona, 1966. The decision that requires that the defendant in custody being questioned be informed of his or her constitutional rights. And of course, people in law enforcement are familiar with this, it is controversial but we have quite a bit of material about that and uh, how the right has been qualified since the original Miranda decision rule back in 1966. Now we then bring up some Eighth Amendment issues. Capital punishment. The big capital punishment decisions go back to the 1970s. At first, the Supreme Court appeared to have declared capital punishment unconstitutional. Then it came back and revisited the issue just a couple of years later and then appeared to decide that it would permit capital punishment once again under certain conditions, one of which it was that the verdict and the sentencing had to be separated. Okay, you have to have separate procedures before the jury. First, to make the, the judgment of the verdict, guilty or not guilty, and then to decide the appropriate sentence, which might include capital punishment depending on the charges involved there. Everybody, let me say this. There have been a couple of cases that I did not put on the syllabus involving a death row inmate in Oklahoma named Glossip. 
that those of you in law enforcement who are, who are criminal justice majors may have heard about. A few year, years ago, it involved Glossip's objections to Oklahoma's method of capital punishment, which he argued constituted cruel and unusual punishment because of the method being used. It was a combination of drugs for lethal injection. And uh, Glossip argued that he feared that uh, the technique being used there might culminate in what would be tantamount to suffering or out and out torture of the individual being put that put to death that way. The Supreme Court did not buy that. More recently, another case involving Mr. Glossip has come back to the Supreme Court. I believe it's pending in the new Supreme Court term that has just started. I believe what happened was the state of Oklahoma is representing that it believes there's that it believes there's some question about the guilt of Mr. Glossip that he may not actually be guilty. Some question about the testimony that was brought against him. Uh, uh, that may be of interest to you. If you would like to uh, do a research paper for the end of the term on, on, on one or the other or, or any of those cases involving this particular inmate, that would be fine. Please contact me. What we do have on the syllabus, though, involves those cases going back to the 1970s, which came from the state of Georgia, by and large, although I believe some other cases were consolidated with it. All right. So, due process, rights of the accused, search and seizure for this week and next week. We've got a discussion on the 14th and 15th, uh, the beginning of this week, and then we'll be doing another discussion in a couple of weeks, and I will be getting that email out to you with a link to an article uh, in about a week or so. This particular article we would be, we'll be looking at for the fifth discussion well, it goes back about a decade or so, but it provoked a lot of discussion among my students, and I hope that it will be of interest to you. So, uh, due process, rights of the accused, search and seizure for a couple of weeks, uh, a discussion the beginning of this week, and another discussion in a couple of weeks. And that is what we were, are doing for the time being. Uh, good luck, study hard. Contact me with any issues or questions. We'll be talking to you once again about a week from now at this time.